Meghan Markle is, as is very often the case lately, on the cover of a weekly tabloid magazine this week, People magazine, with the cover line Grace Under Pressure. The story digs in a little on the Duchess of Sussex's interior life, as Meghan is reportedly grappling with the pervasive challenges of the job as well as her family's antics. This week, Samantha Markle, Meghan's half-sister, attacked her sister on social media, yet again. People says Meghan is having trouble at this point discerning who in her life she can trust. This doesn't seem all too surprising, anyone who skyrockets to global fame in a short period of time in the way Meghan has would of course likely have to reassess his or her friendships and relationships, but People says it has been drastic for Meghan, and she is in the midst of some of that winnowing down right now. Meghan has lost touch with some of her close friends from before the wedding, which has been tough. People's source says she's finding it hard to know who to trust. These trustworthy friends include her makeup artist, Daniel Martin, and her stylist BFF Jessica Maroney, whom she secretly flew out to in Toronto in August to visit. There's a small group of us that check in with her and see how she's doing, but she's still the same person, Martin told People. Being guarded is hardly new for members of the royal family. Earlier this year, Royal Observer Patricia Treble told Vanity Fair. You look at all the senior royals, and they're incredibly careful about whom they're friends with. They end up having lots of acquaintances, or people who know them. Another royal watcher, Emily Nash, told the magazine that post-wedding, Meghan getting used to a more discreet social life, she is still going to be seeing and speaking to her most trusted friends just as before. Then there's her family. While her mother Doria Raglan recently made the move to the UK to be closer to her daughter, She's very publicly estranged from much of the rest of her flesh and blood, while her father, Thomas Markle, hasn't given one of his explosive interviews in some time. It is apparently still weighing heavily on Meghan. It was very wearing on her. It's her private life, the source said. Meanwhile, the upcoming tour of Australia and New Zealand will at least provide a distraction from this rumoured tumult, though it will also of course put her under the spotlight in an intense and sustained way for more than two weeks Harry and her itinerary is said to be packed, author and biographer Ingrid Seward told People, the tour is going to be her chance to shine, she knows she'll be center stage, and everyone is going to want to meet her, but it sounds like she may now be thinking twice about exactly with which friends to be texting updates as the tour rolls on.